Hi everyone, my name is Anthony Cummins and welcome to this video. We're doing the um, Understanding Armour series and we're up to lesson 13. So we're using the Book of Samurai here as you can see. This is number two, the link's below to get yourself a copy to keep up to date with us. Now, last time we talked about how you can identify if somebody's an archer or not by the gloves that, or the, the, the gauntlets they wear. Now, you can tell if someone is mounted or not mounted by the greaves that they wear. Now, greaves are protective forms that cover the bottom of your legs. And these can be, in Japan, they can be very simple cloth ones with bars down, or they can be all enclosed, beautiful, well um, engraved, gorgeous pieces of equipment. They're both greaves. So, what we've got here is two styles. The first one, as you can see here, has a kneecap. Now, you can see the top of this, it's called the crown of hell. Now here's a picture of Emma, who is the judge, the basically the judge of hell, the king of hell. And you see his crown, it resembles the same shape as the one in the, this one. Remember, go back to this. The top of the greaves uh, are look the same and they're called the greaves of hell, if you like, or the crown of hell, or greaves with the crown of hell upon them. And these are for mounted warriors. When you're on your horse and your knees are bent, these protect the knee from arrow shots, from um, smashing, from spikes, um, from any basically blows, sorry, swords, not spikes. And these basically will protect the legs of a mounted samurai. But when you walk in them, which I have done, you walk, it hits the top of your thighs very lightly, but after a while it gets quite annoying. So they're a little bit, or you can put your legs together and knock the inside of your leg and you're like, oh, you know, because that crown of hell becomes hellish. So what you do is non-mounted people should be using this set without the crown of hell on. And these uh, cut off just below the knee. And then hopefully your, you know, armoured skirts go down. However, in most old pictures, most people on the ground are not wearing these and their actually knees are exposed and the bottom of their thighs are exposed, which is, you know, you could argue, is that good or is it bad? But if you look at old pictures of battles, um, not the later pictures of samurai, who tend to be in full with everything, but the older um, pictures close to the time, they tend to be quite bare-legged, a lot of the samurai, and barefooted beyond your know, straw sandals. They don't have cloth around them. It's only later you get a lot of these, you know, people showing those rich with lots of um, images of them basically fully armoured. So just be aware of this. So if you see someone with greaves of hell, then they're mounted. If you see someone without the greaves of hell, then they are footed soldiers on a basic level. Okay, uh, obviously, you know, you could have variations on that, but that's the basic looking at them. Click the link below and uh, keep up to date with the series. I hope you enjoyed it.